Hey guys, Dusty Baker with Crossroads Bison. Welcome back to the channel. <laughs> I got a text message from Mom and Kevin. They were down here in the pasture, and actually they can see the bison from their home. They have a great view. Mom and Kevin sent me a picture because they noticed something different. Noticed something pretty, pretty red. And so they hopped in the ATV. They came down here to do a herd check, and sure enough, we've got two red dogs here at the Dunbar herd. Let's go check them out. Looky here, we've got two. Peaches has got a baby. Peaches has got her second red dog. And then we've got Bell Star back here. She's got her baby. Look at this guy. It's so exciting to have babies at the original place where it all started right here. And uh, the big guy here, Mr. Dunbar, hanging out, not even moving. But we've got Bell Star, one of our original first five babies, and then uh, Peaches right over here with uh, another baby. And um, it's just so exciting because those are my, I started with Bell Star, uh, Dunbar, peaches um, and then obviously our princess Eleanor those were some of the first ones that I started with it is so exciting when your first herd of animals are having their babies and um, both of these two Bellstar and peaches have had their baby um, for 2022 besides check on these calves um, I'm going to uh, let them out they haven't been in this paddock in a long time and it is luscious and it is over a foot tall of a lot of good native grass here and uh, so they're gonna go in this paddock right here I'll fly the drone for you here in just a second and I'll be able to get a good look at these calves and see uh, what we got we'll see if we've got some heifers we'll see if we got a heifer we'll see if we got a bull I'm not sure what it is and uh, hopefully we can reveal what the gender is of these calves. There's a couple other things I gotta do. I gotta put some Redmond minerals out and then I'm gonna check their water tank. Look at this guy here. They're just, they were, when I pulled up here, they were just sitting here waiting. So I know they're excited to get out of here. So I'm gonna open this up, and get them out, and uh, I'm sure they'll be pumped. Right down bar. Good job, buddy.
not a lot of running, but uh, that's okay. I think the uh, the calves were actually more excited than the adults, but uh, they're used to coming in this pasture because this is one of the paddocks that we rotate um, this herd in. I don't know if you guys noticed or not. My hands are full. I'm trying to film from all these different angles, but um, I had the... <laughs> I had to drone up and all these cameras, but uh, I forgot about Eleanor. She was back behind me, and she always stays kind of away from the herd. She's a, a bit camera shy sometimes, and um, Eleanor kind of keeps herself, uh, she keeps a good distance away from the herd, especially in tight places like that where they go through a gate. But uh, she snuck behind me. I didn't realize she didn't come with the herd, and um, I was like, I went to shut the gate, and then Eleanor, here she comes, bebopping down the fence ready to go out so i had to back up open up the gate again uh to let her in and she's just a mess sometimes she's she keeps herself uh out of those tight places and keep a safe distance away from the big herd and that's just how she is she's just a she's a tender-hearted uh bison uh, that we have and if you guys have been following us along for a long time you know that she's our uh She's our special bison cow. So I hope she's pregnant. She looks really full and um, healthy. And right now we're gonna put out some bison 90 mineral uh, for them. So I'm gonna rotate their mineral uh, bunk in here. Dunbar likes to flip over, of course. Um, but I'll flip it. I'll get in here and pull it over with my truck. And then uh, we'll put some Redmond minerals out. But they're, uh, they're happy and out here, as soon as they got in this pasture, they started hitting that grass, so. Um, they'll be in here for a while and then what I'll do is we will let this paddock where they just left recover um, and uh, we're hopefully we're supposed to get some more rain which is always always good that paddock that just left some recovery time and um, then we'll be able to rotate them back and forth so here she comes right now here's our speaking of uh, a little unique cow She's gonna come up and see if uh, I've got any cubes, probably. Check things out, she's smart, she knows. But you can kind of see the patchiness. Um, well, she's losing her hair too, so she's not that pretty right now, but she's got a little scab up there at the top and she rubs on those trees and just peels that scab back open. And There's nothing you can do, it doesn't hurt her, she's fine, but um, she's all good. Maya, what'd you find dead? What are you rolling in? Probably something dead or poop. Gross. You guys are probably making fun of the way I moved that, weren't you? <laughs> hey, it worked. I only had to go like maybe 30 yards. And this is an old bunk pier. It's made out of some old oil barrels and it's been on this place for a long time. So it works great for minerals because it is heavy and uh, Dunbar has a harder time flipping this over. Plus it doesn't make as much noise so he doesn't flip it over as much. So that's why we use it. And uh, like I said, it is very heavy. So got this over here literally just moved it right here and it was sitting right over there you don't have to rotate it very far um, they've kind of got their their points of location where they can rotate to this paddock's not huge or nothing by any means but you've got the minerals here you've got the water right over there and so they can come up here get some water get some minerals and it's only like 75 yards apart so that's not too bad so uh, you guys can check the link out in the description. I always have it up there. It is a link to Redmond Minerals and uh, they create some great products and they're always coming up with new stuff. They even have the table salt and they've got some flavored seasoned salt 
everything like that comes from Redmond, Utah, the mine there. You can always use the coupon Dunbar in next to that description. If you want the big stuff, contact me, send me an email, let me know where you're located and I'll get you in contact with a rep. Next thing, let's go take a look at this water and uh, see if our goldfish are still alive. I think it needs to be drained and cleaned out. I'm not seeing the goldfish. They got this thing stirred up pretty good today. All right, guys, this is uh, to be determined. Uh, it looks like they've been actually getting in this water tank since it's been hot. Um, but right now, I cannot see any goldfish. They were here and made it through the winter, even our cold blast that we had. But I'm not seeing them right now because. I believe it's honestly too murky and plus they may be hiding in the shade over there so rain check on that we'll uh, keep you updated with the goldfish one of the things i told you i was going to talk about is who is the sire of these calves um in one of my previous videos so let's go down in the pasture i want to get up close to these calves a little bit more and uh, see if i can really tell i think one of them's already i think i can already tell one of them is a heifer for sure i kind of want to see if i can get a little bit closer and see if the other one is a heifer as well um doesn't matter what they are just as long as they're healthy so let's go down in the pasture visit dunbar a second and we'll talk about it hey buddy what are you doing i like how you can just pull out in the pasture and dunbar didn't even move nah. i run this place I don't have to get up. You're in peace. I'll leave you alone. He's just chilling. I don't think I can get very close to him, to be honest with you. They're, uh, I'm gonna just let him be, but for sure I think one of them is a heifer. I think Bell Stars is a heifer. Last year she had a bull. Um, but speaking of these calves, the only two in here, Dunbar got kind of screwed out of this deal, but the only two in here that could be Dunbar babies is going to be Flo. Uh, Kit and Flo and Big Joe came together whenever I purchased them uh, back in uh, 2020. Um, but so we had Flo with Dunbar and then I believe we had Eleanor with Dunbar. Is that right, Dunbar? I know he was mad at me um, for a while um, because we moved him up to the top and we let Big Joe you don't remember if you're just gonna join us we swapped bulls last summer right before breeding season or right when breeding season we thought was starting uh, we actually switched to bulls we let big joe out in the pasture and then we brought dunbar up and we put big joe down here in the big pasture and he was able to be with uh, these cows what that means is he should have bred six out of the nine cows in this group right here um, and, and we won't know exactly for sure because breeding season could have hit a little bit earlier and Dunbar could have done his duty um, before we even swap bulls. So it's very possible because the ones in May, you can go back and count how long is the gestation period. Uh, I always say about as long as a woman. And so with that, uh, no, he heard me talking about him, so he's up now. He's interested. I'm gonna get a little bit closer back to this truck, even though he's pretty good. And typically, doesn't do anything. But what are you doing, buddy? So the only way to really know if these are Dunbars or Big Joes, which I think most of them should be Big Joes, is to do 
uh, is to pull hair and actually send their DNA samples off to um, UC Davis, which is where you can register your bison. If you are a new bison producer and uh, want to know more about that, you can email me um, because it is a great thing. You can get hair pulled from the uh, tails of your bison. It's a certain, there's a certain kind of method to it. Doc does it all for me. But you can get uh, hair pulled from their tails whenever you work them and you got them in a squeeze chute. You can pull their hair and uh, you can send it off to a place at UC Davis. Um, and UC Davis is where they actually will do the parentage. They do the DNA testing for parentage linkage and uh, they will run the analysis on it and they can try to figure out who is the dam and sire of whatever animal that you are wanting to uh, test for or whichever animal that you are interested in finding out who their sire or dam is who's the mom and daddy basically is and we've done that we've got we've got the results back on some stuff and uh I have to do a little bit of reading and understand it a little bit more, but uh, and that takes a little bit of time. So we did do that um, in 2021. So uh, maybe I can talk to you more about that in the future. But if you are interested in doing that, I can get you in contact. It is great. We want all bison producers to register their bison. And so what that basically means is that uh, every time that you enter uh, the animals, because uh, once you send their samples off and, and that DNA, is tested and you have that certain animal that particular animal um, in that system that animal will be in the system forever you're supposed to go out and actually take pictures of them and you can put all this on uh, our, our website which is on the bisoncentral.com which is if you're part of the NBA part of the National Bison Association you have a link to that and you'll have you have access to that and you can link up actually where I could link up to a whole nother producer in a whole nother state, um, depending on where where is Dunbar from. You can go back and if Doc has registered uh, his dams and sires um, of Dunbar, then I can link up to where Dunbar came from. And so it's pretty cool I could get into it and I don't even know everything there is to know about uh, doing the bison registration. But it is pretty neat and we're gonna keep doing that. And the, the more people that do it, we'll be able to see where the linkage is you never know some of these animals could come from a national park they could have yellowstone blood in them they could have custer state park blood in them they could have a teddy roosevelt national park blood in them, which we do have one of those and that's dakota you just never know where your animals could actually be from and you can pinpoint it back just like a, it's just like ancestry.com or 23andme it's just like all of that stuff but just for bison that may be just a better way for me to put it to you so um, but that would be the only way to really test and that takes time because we won't be able to pull hair on these calves until we wean them which is in the fall so uh, October October November December time frame when we pull these calves off their mamas to wean them uh, we will be able to pull hair sit it off to UC Davis and then we wait for the results to get back that takes a while so anyways we got got my chores done for today got the bison rotated we're gonna let that paddock rest and uh, guys have any questions or anything you can always email me about um, Redmond Minerals check the link in the description got a new t-shirt um, as well you guys can check out our website at crosstimmersbison.com we've got jerky snack sticks and some new shirts today new shirts check it out on our website always excited to see the red dogs out here they stick out like a sore thumb so hey thank you guys for watching we'll see you soon